here is that code. So I have some list, I'm assuming it's a list of integers and I'm assuming that that list is sorted in ascending order. And I'm given some value to search for. Many times when you look at search algorithms, this value is called the key. This is what I am looking for. This function is going to return either true if it's found this key or false. Now remember, the list may contain many copies of this key or it may contain no copies of this key. We want our function to return true if it contains at least one copy of this key and false otherwise. When we click on enter, our generative AI knows this function extremely well and it is automatically able to produce the code. Let us take a look at how this code works. First, we initialize two variables low and high. These will indicate the region of the list that we are currently focusing on. And to begin with, low is the smallest possible index 0 and high is the largest possible index, namely length of data minus 1. Now what we're going to do is we're going to keep track of the low index and the high index and we're going to keep searching in this intermediate region. So our while condition is as long as low is less than or equal to high. That means as long as there is some region to search for, we are going to calculate the middle point of that region. We are going to calculate this index, low plus high divided by 2. Now we are going to examine the item at that index. If data of mid is smaller than what we are looking for, then there is no point looking more to the left. The value in the middle is already too small. There is no point searching in the low region. So in that case, we can update our low to mid plus 1. We looked at the midpoint. That was not what we were looking for. That was too small. So we should look at the region mid plus 1 up to high. It's in this higher end of the region where we have a chance of finding what we're looking for. On the other hand, if this data mid is not less than key, then it is either greater than key or equal to key. So we now take a look at what if it's greater than key. Well here, very similarly, if the item at the midpoint is too large, there is no point looking in the upper region of this list. We should focus our attention on the lower region. So we can move our high point from where it currently is to one less than the midpoint and that's what we try and do over here. And in the last case, that is where the value at the midpoint is neither less than the key nor greater than the key and that must mean it's equal to the key and in that case we return true. Now notice that if we are in either of the first two conditions, we are done with this if, elif, else situation, but we're also done with the body of the while loop. So we would actually loop back and try again for this modified low or this modified high. Now as this search proceeds, this range will get narrower and narrower. And if the value you're searching for does not appear anywhere in the list, then at some point low will become larger than high. These two values will cross over and that would correspond to an empty search region. And in that case, this while loop would finish and we would return false. Now that condition will happen immediately if the list is empty. If this list had length 0, then low would be initialized to 0 and high would be initialized to 0 minus 1, namely minus 1. And then this condition is not true to begin with. So we would immediately return false, which is of course the correct thing to do because an empty list cannot contain the key that you're looking for. So do try writing this code out, either yourself or let your generative AI create it and then do test it on lots of examples. Please make sure 
that this code only works if your list is sorted in ascending order. If your list is not sorted or if it's sorted in descending order with some values to, uh, at the start that are larger than later values, you will find that this function will sometimes return an incorrect answer.